Quid is a new app where you can collect exclusive digital sticker cards and toys for free featuring all the shows we like such as Breaking Bad, Adventure Time, Star Trek and most importantly Game of Thrones. This app has a lot of Game of Thrones collectibles and the best thing about it is, if you're a person who likes sending emojis and stickers, with this app you can put the Ned Stark, Daenerys Targaryen or Tyrion Lannister stickers to your text or you can also collect cards. They made a pretty fun game of collecting them too, you open up packs of stickers and cards and it kind of brings me to the days of opening football cards as a kid. So when you get the app, make sure you add me as a friend, my username is Fire and Blood, and if I have something you're not able to unlock, we can make trades together, and there's also a chat for Game of Thrones community, so we can trade with other people who use Game of Thrones stickers. You can also showcase your collection by adding stickers to anything on your camera roll. Link and my username will be down below in the description, so feel free to check it out. It's available for iOS and Android, but it's not as smooth on Android yet, since it's still in beta. And also, quick side note, new stickers, cards and figures that you can collect for free are released every day. If you're a Game of Thrones nerd, just like I am, then you're really gonna love this app. And the best thing about it is, it's free. Use the link in the description and give it a try and don't forget to add me as a friend. Hey guys, after capturing Ilaria and Tain, Euron Greyjoy proudly delivered them to Cersei Lannister as his promised gift. Eventually we find both Tain and her mother being chained to the wall of a dungeon to face Cersei's justice for murdering her daughter. Cersei poisons Tain with a long farewell to a kiss just as Ilaria had done to Marcella. The Long Farewell is a poison originating from Ashai and as its name implies, it takes some time to take effect but it's highly lethal. Besides causing the certain death, it's also important to highlight that the Long Farewell is the only known poison whose antidote has been presented and used successfully. With this being said, let me introduce you with a theory in which Tain will not die and her beautiful face will not crumble to bone and dust but will rather be saved by Bronn. There are actually quite a few hints from the previous seasons that are going favor to this theory. Let's start with the fact that Bronn was poisoned by the same poison in the 5th season by Tain herself, but Tain was also the one to save his life as she provided him an antidote. Throughout the series, Bran became quite rich, but as he said himself, while he does have plenty of gold, he doesn't have castles nor lands. In the 7th episode of the 4th season, Bran ends for Tyrion's summons, whereupon Tyrion tried to persuade him into being his champion in a trial by combat. However, Cersei already arranged for him to marry Loli Stokeworth as a bribe to sway him from helping Tyrion. Even though Bran was satisfied with the arrangement because he would become a minor nobleman and would assure that his wife would eventually inherit Castle Stokeworth, Bran still heard out Tyrion's offer. Bran reminded Tyrion of promise to offer him double of whatever anyone that wanted to sell him out was offering. Despite Tyrion's offer of a possible portion of the North, Bran noted that it was unlikely that Tyrion will ever control North through Sansa and therefore he declined his offer. However, not long after, Cersei has arranged for Villas Bracken to wed Lolis instead of him, which angered Bran. Jaime, on the other hand, promised Bran that he will get a much better girl and a much bigger castle once they return from Dorne, which hasn't been fulfilled. In the seventh episode of the previous season, Bran reminded Jaime of his promise and has yet to receive any. However, Bran would get himself everything he was promised by saving Tain. Not only that he would save a life of a woman who back in the fifth season saved his life from the same poison, but he would also get himself a highborn beauty for the wife, huge castle and entire Dorn, as Tain would become a new ruler. While Bran said that he wouldn't like to live in the north where it's bloody cold, Dorne's climate on the other hand is quite opposite. In my opinion, this outcome in which Bran would save Tain the same way she saved him by providing her an antidote, whereupon he would sneak her out and together would escape to Dorne, most certainly doesn't sound out of the realm of possibilities. Additionally, those few scenes between those two characters that seem to be quite unnecessary, especially Tain's flirting with Bran at the docks, the whole story about visiting him before he marries a noble woman, would actually be a foreshadow of Bran saving her life this time and the noble woman that Bran said he has to marry back home would actually be Tain herself. 